A daughter writes in The Atlantic about her mother abandoning her to foment a socialist revolution. That her mother really didn't love her, but instead she became this political icon that wanted to have socialism how many years ago? But the daughter's perspective is that you abandoned me, is that your political goals were more important than loving your own flesh and blood. And reading the article, it, it, it's kind of painful to hear that need. Think about your own children, or God willing, the children you'll have. What will they think about your passion? What will they look about? What will they write about 30, 40, 50 years from now with the things that you do? If you're trying to find your happiness in politics and all these other aims, one day your child might say, you abandoned me for this? No, instead, there's a, there's a deeper, a better way to try to find value in our world, and it's not with human politics. Psalm 131. My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. A couple, couple verses later. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. You want to give something lasting to your kids? Give them hope. Give them a future. Not, not some political hope. Not some, well, it depends on who's in charge hope. The hope of Jesus. The hope of forgiveness. The hope of eternal life. And then even if your dad works a whole lot, like my dad works a lot, I didn't feel abandoned. I saw the hope he was giving to others and kind of followed in the family footsteps here. But in design, to say, I want to give people hope in Jesus, there's lasting, eternal benefits, not politics that are here for a season. And 40 years later, your daughter's mad you even did all that.